What's up guys, welcome back. I promise this is the last time I'm going to uh, rework the setup of my videos. I do it all the time and uh, I finally picked something that I think just actually works for me and something I want to stick with. I know you can't see the drum set behind me. It's Of course it's there, you can see a little bit of it. But it's fine because I'm going to have a lot more drum videos coming out in the near future. I'm working on covers um, and I'm also going to be filming more guitar stuff. For those of you that don't know, I have a music project called Abyssal One and it's on Spotify and it's here on the channel and I do guitar playthroughs for it and whatnot. Um, I have a new song coming out on July 7th, so that's like next Friday or the Friday after. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that one. Um, there are clips of it on this channel, so go check my shorts out and you will, <laughs> my shorts, go check uh, my YouTube shorts out in the shorts section and you'll see a couple clips of it. Anyways, we're going to be checking out a uh, drum playthrough from James Norrell. He is in the band called Aviations. And if you don't know who this band is, they're an amazing, an amazing prog band. So a very long time ago, I checked out one of their songs called Outliers when it first came out. And I swear to, I mean, their reaction is here on the channel. It's really old and my, everything is, you know, outdated on, uh, on my, my side of things like my YouTube video, microphone, lighting, all that stuff. But, um, it's very old and the song almost brought me to tears. It gets really heavy actually for first and then it gets real quiet and then just, I mean, the piano comes in. And it's the singing is so beautiful. These guys write amazing music. And um, this song is called Coma. And this is a drum playthrough um, from James Norrell. And man, th yeah, this is going to kick ass. I already know these guys write unbelievable music. So let's get right into it, guys. Um, this is uh, Coma from A Aviations. Alright, so I have not listened to this band in quite a while and just listening to uh, the way he's opening this song up, he's obviously a very uh, talented prog drummer, but I think, uh, you know, I, after listening to so many other drummers and whatnot on this channel, um, I feel like he's got like heavy influence from Gavin Harrison. His fills are very musical and uh, they are they have a melody to them as they are going along with the song and the chord progressions in the song so yeah to me it seems like he's pretty heavily influenced by like drummers like gavin harrison and uh you know maybe even uh neil peart he's very musical as well so all right let's get back into this Jesus, man. I feel like this is totally different from the song Outliers.
Yeah, man, he is very musical with the way he's using his splashes and the cymbals. It almost sounds like, you know, kind of like a keyboard kind of because you can hear the notes going up and down. And uh, I don't know, that's just the only way I can really explain that. But it's very musical the way he writes his fills that go along with the melodies of the song. And uh, I, it's, it's just beautiful, man. Not only is it just uh, challenging drumming, but it's also musical and adding to the song, not just kind of like showing off like some drummers do. But I think it's just incredible the way he writes his drums, man. And I thought that was like a floor tom or a bass drum over there. I didn't know that. I don't know what the hell that thing is. It almost was like a um, a roto tom or something, but uh, it's just a EMAD head over there. That's fucking cool. Anyways, let's get back to it. Again, extra proggy now. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta hear the way that piano came in right there. Yeah, these guys write really interesting stuff. Real quick, they do have a vocalist too, and he's also just as amazing as the rest of the band. Um, I mean, this band is awesome, man. They really need more exposure and credit, so please go check them out after this video. I like the cat socks too. What's going to happen next?
that's what happened. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to that one more time. Seems like just a lot of linear fills, but um, it's like triplets too. The way he's going through the the, the four tom and the kick drums. Has a perfect camera angle for that. Oh my god. Not the blast beat. Not the fucking blast beat after all that. All that beauty. <laughs> then they just come in uh, with the blast. <laughs> this is fucking nuts, man. <sighs> what an epic way to end that, man. There's the music video. Uh, they even have a bass playthrough. Oh my god. All these musicians, man, are, you know, S tier. I'll be honest with you guys. Like, I, I feel like uh, today's musicians are completely outclassing um, older musicians. <laughs> uh, the prog musicians of today, the younger guys that are get moving up, man, uh, they are blowing the, the older competition out the water. Um, and that, I just, that's my own personal opinion. Like, I think this dude could outplay Mike Portnoy. Um, I don't know about Mangini, probably Mangini. I mean, fuck, this dude can basically do anything they could do. So, yeah, I mean, I think, I think these, uh, these new guys are just killing it, man. And they are just like taking everything that they learned from the greats back then and just saying, okay, I mastered that. Let's, let's go to the next level. And, uh, these guys are at it, man. Now this guy, uh, James Norrell, I mean, he's he's gonna be a legend. He's gonna be like the same thing people talk about with uh, 
Mike Portnoy or um, Mangini or Neil Peart, um, Gavin Harrison. He's going to be one of those household names, man. He needs to be for sure because this dude is just insanely good. Yeah, like I said, if you haven't heard any of their other songs, definitely go check them out, especially you prog guys. The ones that love prog music, these 20-minute songs, 20 different BPMs in a song, all that good stuff, man. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I can't praise this guy enough. I think he did an awesome job with this song. Uh, this band is just incredible. So go check them out. Go like uh, this video. Go listen to it without me talking through it. And uh, just enjoy their music, man, because this is an awesome band. Let me know what you guys thought about this in the comment section below. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put the old reaction that I did of their first song, Outliers, up. It might be popping up right here. If not, it's probably going to be L.S. Tapario Sabariano, which will be the next video that we're reacting to because he just dropped another cover. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next video.